I love sharing photos of images and places with my friends online. Photography has become a way for me to restore my spirit. It's part of my daily routine. But before I tell you about how my photography changed during the pandemic, I should let you know that I am not a professionally trained photographer. My photography is accidental. I fell into it when I couldn't find the right images for my blogs. Now, photography has become much more than that. It's become a way for me to escape from worries and work. It's become a way for me to become present in the moment. And photography is something that excites me still when I think about photographing epic scenes. Sometimes I would go early as soon as I woke up, or sometimes I'd go after work to capture these images. Emerson said, in the woods, we return to reason and faith. Well, I returned to reason and faith behind a camera. I'd share these images online and get a lot of positive feedback. Sometimes I would even get requests to go photograph a particular scene. This positive feedback fueled me, providing a little bit of gravy for my spiritual photo walks, if you would. I began to think of ways to create more scenes of awe and wonder. And then I created a photo of the week email so people could access these images and download them, using them in their life however they'd like. Now, this all changed with the pandemic, like everything. A guy like me does not do well in isolation. So when I found out that I could go outside safely with the mask on, socially distanced, I began to venture out. I was cooped up and tired of photographing birds. Now, when I got into DC, these crowded monuments were now empty. The streets had nobody in them. It felt weird, but still, it was really nice to get out and photograph and see this city, this world that we would be coming back to, capturing images of what could be when the pandemic end. This photo of Washington, D.C. is one of the very first images I took after I left my neighborhood. I went to the Lincoln Memorial very early in the morning at 6 a.m. thinking that nobody would be there. People in Washington care a lot about the country, no matter which side of the aisle they're on. I love DC. I've lived here now for more than 30 years. So for me, there was a need to recapture iconic scenes of freedom, places that felt a little bit tarnished with all the news. This photo of the Washington Monument in the reflecting pool really stirred a lot of emotion for me. I felt a need to share it online very quickly and I asked my community to comment on it, providing captions, if they would. This caption contest produced more than 100 responses. And in fact, the winning caption was point of no return. Civil unrest gripped the country after that. And after photographing a full day of Black Lives Matter protests, I could not sleep. I was really upset by this horrible strife that seemed to strike the country, um, this racial inequality that was tearing us all apart. And I sat in my bed thinking about it, and after a while I just decided to get up, get in my car, and drive out to Shenandoah National Park. I photographed the Milky Way that night, and a doe walked into this frame. It was amazing. It was as if the universe had aligned to remind me that there was still amazing beauty to be seen if I would just take the time to go capture it. Now, I shared it the next night on the eve of my 48th birthday. I captioned the photo, it's my birthday and I'll do what I want to. I'll admit it, I was feeling robbed. There was so little joy in my life at that point. It was so hard with everything that was happening. And I felt that probably other people were in the same place. So in the image, I also added this to the caption. I hope that this photo gives somebody, somewhere, a smile in spite of everything. Afterwards, I began to venture out and photograph places I hadn't seen yet. For example, Graffiti Alley in Baltimore was a place I always wanted to photograph. And, you know, a lot of my friends online had heard about it too, said good things, but many had actually not been there. So it seemed like a good idea for a photo. My daughter Soleil and I drove up there one Saturday afternoon. This is one of the many images we took that day. You can see Soleil in the photo. She shows you how complex and colorful 
the alley actually is. People were also talking about missing summer vacations. They wanted to go to the shore or the mountains. And one day after work, I decided I would just drive to Assateek Island on the Delmarva Peninsula. Now this is a three hour drive, but I'd heard that there was a fantastic lighthouse down there and, and I've got a thing for lighthouses. It's definitely one of my favorite subjects. And again, people were talking about not being able to get to the shore. So I thought it'd be a welcome image. So to get this image, I drove into the park right before it closed. You can even see the Milky Way in the upper right corner. When autumn arrived, the days got shorter. People stopped leaving their neighborhoods because the pandemic was surging and political tension filled the air. I stopped venturing out as far, but I still wanted to capture some of that autumn glory. And people online were also talking about missing fall. So I decided to see if I could capture some of that autumn goodness. This is Rock Creek Park. And in it, you can see the stone bridge, the old stone bridge as it's known. It's a well-known DC refuge and the colors really seemed to pop and make people feel a sense of relief. I felt a sense of normalcy when I considered how uh, this was what the way DC is supposed to look during autumn. Now the days got shorter and 2020 started to wind down and we had a big surprise. We got our first major memorial or monument in 16 years, the Eisenhower Memorial, but it got completely lost in all the different news and crisis. My friend posted on my Facebook wall and asked me to go photograph it. It seemed like a simple thing to do, so one night I went and got the shot. This is 6 p.m., rush hour in D.C. As you can see, we were not in a good place. Things were messed up because of the pandemic and the deepening political crisis. As winter arrived, days get short. It gets cold and harsh out. People stopped leaving their house. Everybody was COVID crazy. We were all talking online about wanting the pandemic to end, but still I ventured out because, you know, shorter days make for better times to capture sunrises and sunsets. The lesser known Air Force Memorial provides a beautiful mirror for the fiery colors of a sunrise or a sunset. And the three columns represent jets flying in formation. Together, I decided to call this sunset fired up. And I'll have to tell you, man, I still get fired up thinking about it. It was a fun shot. Now, 2020 was a really hard year for a lot of people. And I don't know about you, but I need a reset. That new start begins with me and with you. I wonder what new wonders and realities await for us as we move out of the pandemic. To this day, I still find balance and presence behind a camera, and I still share those images online. Anybody, anywhere can do this in a smartphone world. They can share those moments of joy and happiness with their friends. I hope you and your friends have great joy and happiness as we move into 2021 and our post-COVID reality. Thank you.